as you can see on this picture, in the Great War they had all kind of machine guns and they needed a lot of ammunition. This kind of weapons mainly developed during the World War, because they needed it for the troops. In this fragment we are going to look at what if there were no machine guns and bombs. Ta-da! Broccoli and bounce! Broccoli. On this picture we can see that there were a lot of bombardments and gas attacks during the war. But what if there was no toxic gas? What would have been another method to kill the enemies? That's what we will show you in What if there was no toxic gas? Good day General. I have great news. We have developed a new weapon. I have let the soldiers eat onions the whole night. Now they are filled with gas. Can we launch the new toxic weapon? Yes, launch it! Guys, we're authorized to release the toxic gas. Okay, go! During World War I many airplanes developed. On this picture there is an example of an airplane from those times. They used the planes mainly to bombard all kinds of buildings, cities or to spy on other countries. It was also a very important travelling form. In this episode we are going to look at what if there were no travelling facilities. <laughs> Day 1. We are departing today for our journey. We have to travel a total of 8142 miles. If everything goes well, we will be there in 2 years and 127 days. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, it's home from earth we go. Day 584. Today we realize we went the wrong way. It's not funny because we have to walk 861 miles back. I can't take this. If something happens again, I don't know what I will do. 47 miles up, guys. Yes, finally. We are almost there. Look guys, there is our house. Yes, finally. That looks great. Finally home. Yes. Oh yes, the key. Who has the key? Bert, do you have the keys? Do you have? Day 917. Today we finally arrived. But guess what? Some retard called back forget the keys. Now we can't do anything here. We can't enter our own house. I think it's over for me. I don't want to live anymore. On this poster you can see that a man is communicating with the radio. 
this form of communication was needed for all kind of tactical decisions during the war, reporting back to the base. This all was wireless. In this fragment we will look at what if there was no wireless communication. Hello Thomas, how are you? Good, I received my brand new eye cable today. Nice, how long is it? And it's working well? Yes, it's very good, not like your SAM cable. That's true. Oh well, it's time for me to go, it's already 4 o'clock. Is it? Oh crap, it is. Alright then, bye bye, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. On this poster we can see a promotion for women rights. After World War I, women slightly began to gain all kinds of rights. On this poster they are promoting voting rights for them, so they also have some influence in their country. In this fragment we're going to look at what if women wouldn't have got any rights. I'm back from walking the wife. Finally! Bitch! Bitch! Sit. Make me a sandwich! No, I'm tired! You have no right to be tired! Make me a sandwich! On 15 October 1918, Hitler was blinded during a gas attack. While he was recovering, Germany signed the Treaty of Versailles. Germany was hit hard economically and militarily. Hitler stayed in the army and he was appointed by the German military to spy on radical groups in Munich. So he came into contact with the extreme right wing elements in that city. But what if Hitler didn't radicalize? Ah, Mr. Hitler! I have great news! I brought the Jew for you! Kill him! Ah, my friend! I made this card for you! Here! Thank Whoa. you, thank you! The, the, the assessment how it's supposed to go! You have to kill him! No, no! Everybody is my friend! Ta-da!